Hey, do you want to play doctor with me? Yeah, can I be the doctor? Sure, here's the stethoscope. Thanks, let's listen to your heart, patient. Are you guys doing a play of St. Cosmos and St. Damien? No, we were just playing doctor. Who are they? Okay, sit down. This is going to be a good lesson. Listen carefully. Not so long ago, a good Christian woman named Theodota lived with her five sons. The five boys were named Cosmos, Damien, and Themis, Leonidas, and Euripius. The oldest two boys, Cosmos and Damien, were twins. They loved their mother and three younger brothers very much. Where was their dad? Theodota was widowed while her children were still young. She raised her children and instilled in them the fear of God and love of righteousness. What does widowed mean? A widow is someone whose husband or wife has already gone to heaven. But the five brothers knew that their heavenly father would always take care of them, even if their earthly father was not around. Their heavenly father is Jesus. He takes care of us, too. That's right. Now, Theodota taught her children to love God and to share the great love of God with all their friends and neighbors. Going to church was one of the family's favorite places to go together. They knew that church is a special place to praise and thank our Lord Jesus Christ. After church, the boys would learn about God and his saints in Sunday school. They sound a lot like our family. Yes, saints are people just like us. We can be saints too, if we always do our best to please God and repent and confess if we do something wrong. That's when we talk to Abuna and he tells us that God has forgiven us. Yes, you are both very smart. The family always did their best to do what was right in the eyes of God. Going to church, helping the poor and needy, and reading the Bible together were all things that the family loved to do together. So God blessed Cosmos and Damien with the gift of healing, and they became very good doctors. Cosmos and Damien worked together to help the poor and sick in their community. Oh, community was my vocab word last week. It means the group of people knew where they lived. Well done. Sometimes the people in their community were very sick and needed medicine and special care. Other times people were cold or hungry. No matter how big or small the problem was, the twin doctors always offered helping hands and loving hearts. That reminds me of a Bible passage. When Jesus said that if we help people who are hungry or cold, it is like we were doing it to him. Excellent. That's in St. Matthew 25. And that's exactly how St. Cosmos and St. Damien lived their lives. They were so kind and gentle with all the people they helped. Everyone who met them could feel the love of God. Even people who did not know God before were able to see his love because of the goodness of those doctors. The brother doctors never took money from their patients. They remembered what our Lord Jesus said, Freely have you received, freely give, from St. Matthew 10, 8. Cosmos and Damien understood that because God gave them the ability to heal people out of his love for them, they should give that gift to others. In this way, the doctors converted people to Christianity. That means people took Christ in their hearts for the first time. Like, like when babies get baptized. Very good. Just like when we baptize babies in our families, Adults can be baptized when they've decided to live their lives for our Lord Jesus Christ. However, not everyone took Christ in their hearts. The rulers of government at that time wanted the Holy Family to forget about their beloved Christ and to worship pagans. Pagans are things or ideas made up and worshipped by people. The government tried to hurt Mother Theodota and her five sons in many ways. That sounds really bad. It does. But God never leaves us, even during the bad times. Each time they were hurt, God sent angels to heal them and lift away the pain. Mother Theodota, Cosmos, Damien, and Themis, Leonitis, and Eupropius loved God so much and would never worship the pagans. They knew that God loved them and would never leave them. Wow. They were all so brave. Yes, they were, and God rewarded their bravery. God called the Holy Family to be with him in heaven. The six great saints were all martyred together and entered the heavenly gates to be with our Lord Jesus Christ. Now they sing praises to God with their angels and enjoy all of God's goodness. 
We celebrate their lives on the 1st of December or the 22nd day of the Coptic month of Hatur. Let's remember their names and ask for their intercessions in front of our Lord Jesus. Dear Mother Theodota, Cosmos, Damien, Anthemus, Leonidas, and Eupropius, please remember us in your prayers before the Lord. Help us to be kind and brave like you. Amen.